I didn't kick start my lava lamp soon enough. <laughs> I'm wearing my <clears throat> super ugly shirt that I got for $4 because I'm a cheapskate. It's very comfortable though, you know, even even though it is ugly. How can you pass it up for four bucks? I had collapsible chairs at Sportsman's Warehouse today, and I wasn't looking for one. I said, they're seven dollars, brand new. I'm like, oh yeah, needed a chair in the basement. Seven dollar collapsible chair. Actually, I almost don't need this. Um, there have been a lot of requests, and I've checked all the links below, and absolutely everything is in stock. So I checked that. I've even got a couple knives everybody kept asking me about. Everybody been asking me about a link for alfalfa sprout seeds. You know, where to get them at? Uh, the same ones uh, that I buy, they're called Food to Live By, and I've got the link uh, below. It's a three-pound bag for actually a really good price, and they last essentially indefinitely. I've been talking about for a long time. I should put these books in order. I didn't bring out all the books out here. The reason why I didn't is because I didn't want a super enormous pile of books out here, but... You know, I have a link to all of these below, the pinned comment, and also two in the description. Because every the reason why I've said that a couple of times, because everybody said, well, where can I find these books? It's like, well, it's in the description, and also two in a pinned comment. One thing I've noticed that everybody's been asking me about is something that's not like a novel, where you know you got one story, and you got to keep up with it. You know, and if you wait too long, you know, you've forgotten because the first part you've, you know, you hadn't read for a while. Something that's like a bedside book where you don't have to, you know, stay in the same spot. You could actually flip to any part of the book and read little passages. I kind of call those bedside books. Something to read for, I don't know, five to ten minutes before you go to bed. And people say, what's the best bedside book where I've only got like, woo! <laughs> I'll edit that out. You know, only got like 10 minutes in the evening to read it. And they're like, you know, all of a sudden everybody started asking me the same thing about a bedside book. It's like, well, I've got the perfect bedside books for you. You should ignore the cover on this. The cover art is absolutely atrocious. This is by the founder of Advar Vedanta. It's hyperlogical and hyperrational. Even Plotinus and uh, Pythagoras themselves would have been incredibly proud of the extremely pithy and hyper-rational, logical, and accurate metaphysics within these books. This is actually a uh, translation by, I think it's uh, Swami Jagarananda, because there's about a billion different, yeah, Swami Jagarananda. It's actually the best translation, although unlike other texts of other uh, metaphysics, you know, they've got really bad translations of good ones. Nearly all translations of Advaita Vedanta of which there are really only two fundamental texts, on which I have them right here. You can flip to any part of this book as you're laying down in the bed at night and, uh, you know, read ten or so passages. You have the Devanagri above that. Obviously, you're not going to be reading the Devanagri, but uh, incredibly illuminating. Uh, I can't even give it my highest recommendations. These books are actually cheaper than dirt, too, by the way. And I have the link below. Uh, the Upadis Sahasati means a thousand teachings, okay, translated. So you have the English in here. I think this is like a $9 book. The other book of uh, Advaita Vedanta is this. I have the link below. This is uh, this actually isn't the translation that I got a link for. I've got the, the better one in uh, the link below. This is uh, the Vivachura Muni of uh, the same person. Uh, Sri Sankaracharya, or uh, you know, the founder of Advaita Vedanta, also too called Sankara. I can't recommend it high enough. Like I said, you could just close your eyes and flip to any section and start reading a few passages before you start nodding off in the evening, you know, laying in bed. And uh, very, very pithy. Actually, I can't think, other than like listening to classical music while you sleep, which is what I've been doing now for like 35, 40 years, I can't think of anything, you know, more beneficial for you to read a few passages of before you go to bed. Of course, you don't have to read it as you go to bed, but those are the two. Once again, the links are below. This is the only living author that I respect. She is my girl. She loves me. <laughs> she does. I like her. She likes me. She's got a really thick Irish accent. Uh, she's retired to Uganda. She's written many books, um, but this is a book I highly recommend. I have the link below. Also, it's called The Unknown God by Didri Carabine. This is some hardcore, brilliant, pithy, intellectual um it's very readable though i've had easily two thousand people over the years 
thank me deeply for recommending this book, The Unknown God by Deirdre Kirby, and the only living author that I respect. She's a friend of mine, so that sounds like I'm biased maybe, but I'm not. I actually been recommending it before she came, a friend of mine. I only brought out one volume of the four. I think it's now in a three volume set because they've actually condensed it down to three volumes and I have the links below. I keep saying that, sorry about that. This is uh, by Swami Nikolananda. This is the Principle Upanishads. It also too has the commentary of, uh, it gives the explanation. First it gives you the passage and then it gives you the breakdown of what it's actually saying. So you want like something that's both uh, really, really substantial, but also too breaks it down. Like if you're reading something, he's like, I don't know what this means. It breaks it down to what it means. And after that, it has uh, Sankaracharya's commentary on that. That's what makes this, it used to be four volume. Mine's old set, it's four volume, but now it's a three volume set, you know. This is called The Principal Upanishads uh, by uh, Swami Nikolananda. It's not written by him, it's translated by him. Um, very, very brilliant. It will reorder your brain in a good way. I can't recommend it high enough. Um, two books I didn't bring out here. I was given the rights to his works by his son, Dr. Ramapi Swami, who died some time ago. Rest his soul. This is his father, uh, um, Ananda Ketish Kumaraswami. He was on the stamp of India, knew 27 languages. He wrote hundreds of articles and more books than you even dare imagine. And uh, the number one recommended book by his, him is called Metaphysics. It's actually a collection of articles of really, really, really important stuff. It's available in both paperback and hardcover. The hardcover is really, really expensive. But the paperback is really cheap. I have the link below. The other one is the only accurate book on time that I've, and I've, trust me, I've been, I've, I've been through them all. The only accurate book on the nature of time is seen by the Greeks and the Indians and the Christians. It's a collection, but it's the synopsis of what the actual meaning, what the true meaning of time and eternity is. It's called Time and Eternity by Kumara Swami. have the link uh, below. Uh, here's one that countless thousands of people have bought. I wish he was still alive, but uh, rest his soul. It's by Aldous Sudovinius. It's called Philosophy is a Right of Rebirth. This is... Uh, his other book that I recommend, the only other book, uh, is uh, Rufius, uh, excuse me, Rufius. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. It's called Orpheus. I said Rufius. Orpheus and the Roots of uh, Platonism by the same author, Aldous Sudovinius. But this, Philosophy is a Right of Rebirth. I'll have the links to both of the, those books by him uh, below. I only brought out one volume of uh, this. There are seven volumes. Until I actually do the translation myself, which I, you know, am kind of in the process of working on. It has Greek on one side and English on the other, but this is by A.H. Armstrong. This is a Loeb series classics. They're very cheap. Uh, they used to be 20 bucks. Now they're like 30 bucks. There's seven volumes of the collected Enneads of Plotinus. This is still the best translation until I do mine. Uh, that exist of uh, Plotinus. Um, there is a shortcut, like I said, to a superior education. And the, the, I think I've got like 10 books. Well, you know, 17 if you count the fact that this is seven volumes. And I have links to all seven volumes uh, below, pinned comment in the description, of Plotinus where, and I, I, I've said this a million times, and I'm serious as a heart attack when I say it. If I told anybody that's about to enter school or, you know, they're, you know, they're about to put their little one in the school, so listen, what if I could cut off 70% of the time wasted, you know, getting educated, my educated, I mean the opposite of education, I mean indoctrination and brainwashing, 70% of the time and garbage wasted. Oh, I'm going to read chapters one through ten. We're going to have a multiple guest test next week. Oh, no. That is a waste of time. It's just busy work. It's state-sponsored brainwashing. I say, your child will be infinitely smarter, way wiser, have a, a genuine, real education, and I can cut out 70% of the time and materials wasted because the ancient masters would send their kids to this type of education. They'd read uh, Plato, uh, Parmenides, uh, Republic, Proclus Amblicus, Numenius, Sidianus, uh, Petifusian, on and on and on. 70% less 
the people that wrote the most brilliant stuff in the Dark Ages and the 1600s, like uh, Nikola Tesla's favorite author, uh, Roger Boscovich, who wrote uh, uh, the Theoria Philosophia Naturalis, and the, the author of the Petrophysian, uh, John the Scot, John Scotus Regina, which I'm about to recommend his book. These people did not, you know, people that wrote stuff that will make your, your brain twist up like a pretzel. Way more intelligent than, you know, you take the smartest person you can find out. They t just think of five, just have them read like the Pitifusian or Theory of Natural Philosophy by Boscovich. They can't do it. It's too complicated for them. Well, what sort of Superman education do these guys get? Well, I can tell you this, it was at least, I'm giving a rough estimate here, at least 70% less than the trash that you and I, et cetera, et cetera, was forced to read in school, which was the opposite of an education. I'm, lay I'm laying this out. This is not my opinion, my feeling, or belief. This is a fact. Trust me, if I'm lying, I'm dying. And I'm listing these. Now, if you count uh, the seven-volume set as one set, how many books am I recommending for a far, far, far superior education? One, two, three, four, six, seven, exactly ten. Exactly ten. Anyway, this is the seven-volume set. Uh, once again, all the books are uh, pinned in the comment below. They're all in stock. The other one I didn't bring out, it is the Petifusian, which is about the division of nature, written by John the Scott. By the way, my favorite living author, uh, Didra Carabine, she wrote a whole lot of stuff about John Scott and uh, takes a lot of stuff from the Petifusian. You know, she's the only living author that I respect. There's a reason why she focused in a whole lot on the Petifusian, the same reason why I'm recommending it to you. That link is below on the Petifusian. How do you spell Petifusian, everybody says? P-E-R-I-P-H-Y-S-E-O-N. You can find the link below. If you want a superior education, read that slowly and think about it. Don't just read it. Read a little bit of it, kind of like you're chewing on a ham sandwich. Actually, I, I prefer roast beef. Think about it a little bit, like you're chewing on a sandwich. You don't just like eat, 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 eat. Well, some people do. You eat, you chew on it a little bit, swallow it, grab another bite. That's the way, if you're able to do that, uh, read the Petifusian twice in your life, it doesn't even really have to be twice. You'll be so much smarter than everybody else, wiser, have a logical, analytical mind, which nobody out there does anymore. You'll be on the top of the heap intellectually. That is very, very important. It's not about getting one up above somebody else. It's about seeing through things. It's making your life better and easier. Stupid well, I should say, ignorant people have a hard time in life because everybody out there is suckering them, and, you know, feeding them nonsense and lies, and they don't know any better because they were not taught how to think. Consuming these materials that I'm recommending here, I mean, I, I, I can't overstate it enough. It's completely impossible. Um, I already recommended the principle of Upanishads. Did that get to all the books? I'd like to pull up the alfalfa seeds over here. Once again, I have the length of the alfalfa seeds in a second. There's a couple knives everybody kept asking me about. Right now, one of them is like 70% off. I've, had, I've got like three of these. They're the finest thing ever. Even 25 years ago, I remember paying like 250 bucks. Now it's $123 online. Still made, both of these are made in Taiwan. They got full tangs. First, I'd like to get to the alfalfa sprout seeds. This is not three pounds. It's like a pound. and Actually, this is less than a pound. Just this. I mean, I got a gazillion seeds in here. As long as you keep them in a cool, uh, dry, relatively dark place, they'll essentially last forever. I've done long-term analysis of different studies done on seeds that other people have done if they're stored correctly. You know, after 20 years, you might have a 15% die-off. Who cares? You know, it's essentially they last forever. Well, they don't last forever, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. 20 years later, you know, you have them hermetically sealed somewhere in your basement. It's been relatively cool. Uh, they don't actually have to be kept cold. That's actually been proven false. They only have to be kind of cool. In other words, not hot. They'll essentially last forever. Who cares if you got a 15 or 20% die-off? after 20 plus years. You know, I'm not even gonna be around in 20 years. You probably aren't either. Anyway, it's uh, three pounds, they're called Food to Live Alfalfa Sprouting Seeds, and they're $36, link below. They're these suckers. This is like less than a pound, so you can imagine what three pounds are. I actually have a bunch of these, so I can attest to how good they are. They're called Food to Live 
product. And let me grab the other knife over here. I kind of got it over here. One book I thought, forgot to recommend on my list here. This is a horrible title to this book, but the contents are absolute pure gold. It's called Touches of Sweet Harmony. It's about all the truth of original Pythagoreanism. And man, you want a really, really, really good book that doesn't like get into, you know, you know, blathering nonsense. Most stuff about original Pythagoreanism is blathering. This is the real deal. I'm sorry the title is so horrible. Once again, I got the link below called Touches of Sweet Harmony. You want to know about original Pythagoreanism? This is it. I've actually got a hardcover copy of this, but it's falling apart, so I grabbed the softcover copy. That's below. Anyway, here are the two knives. Currently, the uh, the Magnum Tantu is like 50% off. It's 179. Both of these are San Mai 3 steel. They're full tang. Listen, I... I don't ever recommend anything that I don't actually truly believe and stand behind. These knives are incredible. This is actually a genuine alligator sheath I made for this thing. So it doesn't come with this. I would like charge like $500 for this alligator sheath. It doesn't come with this. It comes with a plastic sheath. So I don't want you to get the wrong idea. But this is actually San Mai 3 steel, full tang, super high quality. There's tons of abuse tests on these online. This is not some sort of cheap junko stuff that only looks good until you actually use it and it flows apart or it snaps on and on and on these are not those i would never ever ever even think about recommending something like that i got like i think i got four of these one of which i've had for like new, over 20 years my favorite is this one this is the uh taipan they've been over 300 dollars forever right now I know this sounds like a pitch. Right now, I thought about buying another one. I've got three or four of these. This is a custom sheath I made for it. This is also, too, full tang, San Mai 3 steel. High quality. There are tons and tons and tons of abuse tests of this online. It is currently $123. I, I forget what it is, like 70% off or 60% off right now. If it changes... Since I upload this video, I apologize. I just checked the, the link like 10 minutes ago. So it's still $123. So I would actually get one while there is still that price. I think the normal price on it is like $320. It ships from Amazon. It is genuine. It's not counterfeit. Yes, it is made in Taiwan. But it is full tang. I know you can't see it here. The actual line where the actual steel is melted to another layer of steel. I could see it. I, I know you can't see it. You can look at close-ups of this. You can actually watch uh, abuse tests of these. This is high quality. This is not some sort of snap and break, you know, junkity junk. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I would never, ever, ever dream of recommending anything like that. Never. I can't believe it's so cheap right now. I got three or four of them at $123. I'd almost like to buy one myself. But why? I, I said, why would you? It's like, I can't believe the price. Like, I got to recommend this and talk about this tonight. I can't believe it's so cheap. But anyway, those are the books. Uh, the links to all of those are pinned below. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And once again, those 10 books, one of which is a seven volume, if you can consume those, and it's not that difficult, we're talking about 10 sets of books. One of them is a seven volume, I know. I mean, that's it. You want to talk about homeschooling, have a way superior education, a toolbox in your head instead of a bunch of useless facts like public school systems do to you? These are those books. Period. If you ever like these videos, any donations always warmly welcome. Send me an email if you get any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Lux e Veritas. Don't forget to get the alfalfa sprout seeds. <laughs> At least!